Get a load of this guy. Tonight, I'm authorizing the city to shut off Los Angeles Department of Water and Power Service in the egregious cases in which houses, businesses, and other venues are hosting unpermitted large gatherings. For those that don't know, this is the mayor of Los Angeles, the guy who said he'd shut your water and electric off if you have too many people at your house. Yeah, recreating Woodstock 69 on Hollywood Boulevard's okay, though. He doesn't have anything to say about that. Nah, he joins it. And I want to invite the leaders of this organization inside so we can continue a conversation. But the moment he catches wind that Cousin Eddie's coming over, that's when he'll take your basic life essentials away. You know, like your ability to shower, he'll spoil all the food in your fridge, and make your family sit in darkness until they think about ever disobeying the overlord of Los Angeles again. Here's the next asshole. Apparently, California thought it was a good idea to elect the guy from American Psycho to be their governor. Going out to eat with members of your household this weekend? Don't forget to keep your mask on in between bites. Now oh, that's nice. What's next, Emperor? Mandated grazing muzzles? How does it feel to be talked to like you're a bunch of barnyard animals incapable of keeping food in your mouth, California? What else you got for us, Patrick Bateman? We are now effectively, uh, rather effective today, requiring all counties to close their indoor activities, their indoor operations. As extreme as it sounds, maybe this guy's just really passionate about stopping the spread of the virus. Gavin Newsom is under fire tonight for attending a party in Napa County as COVID-19 cases surge statewide. I guess not. What happened, Caesar? I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge something just before we go into the Q&A. Uh, I was asked to go to a friend's 50th birthday. It was to be an outdoor uh, uh, restaurant. Oh, it was outdoors. Well, then what's the big deal? You don't have to explain yourself. We were sent these photos late tonight by a woman who was actually at the French Laundry restaurant the exact same night that Governor Newsom was. Now those photos that she took are raising some new questions about the governor's claims that the dinner was outdoors, as he has repeatedly claimed. Are you sure? I mean, I can't imagine our royal highness would lie to us. This must just be a tree fort in the woods. What's he say here? Oh, when you go to a restaurant and it's clear that they're not practicing what we are preaching, report them. Yeah, where do we go to report you? I'm not seeing any information on that. I made a bad mistake. Instead of sitting down, uh, I should have stood up and walked back, got in my car and drove back uh, to my house. Yeah, you know why you didn't? Because you didn't want to. And you know why you're saying this now? Because you got caught. We all know this, and so do you, but the fact you're arrogant enough to try to pass this off as a genuine apology just proves how you see society. Dumb, obedient, and easily manipulated. Sadly, a lot of us are. And that's why you and the rest of you lunatics and officer this way. Because it works. So Wendy, I'm going to take, I'm going to take my mask off when I speak. Yeah, great idea, Governor of Pennsylvania. Let's just play pretend and put on a show. <laughs> so that it's on camera. Yeah, the pandemic variety hour. How come they never take the real mask off before they speak? You know, the one that reveals their psychopaths. And just know, this has not been a practice I've been indulged in in the past. I, I take it very seriously, uh, what we are promoting, uh, and have been doing so for many, many months. Sure, you all do. The Speaker of the House does. Is it time to mandate the wearing of masks across the country? Oh, I definitely long overdue for that. Just not when she's getting a haircut. The governor of New York does. You could literally kill someone because you didn't want to wear a mask. Just not when he's giving hugs. The White House reporters do. I can't help but notice you're not wearing a mask. Well, what's the reason for that? Is that a television thing? Or? Just not when the cameras are off. The mayor of Chicago, Beetlejuice, does. We will shut you down. We will cite you. And if we need to, we will arrest you and we will take you to jail. We will shut you down, we will cite you, and if we need to, we will arrest you, and we will take you to jail. 
Yeah, and that's Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot coming out in full costume, cape and mask as the Rona, as in Corona Destroyer. Just not when she's spitting into a megaphone in large crowds or getting her hair cut. I take my personal hygiene very seriously. As I said, I felt like I needed to um, have a haircut. I'm not able to do that myself, and so I got a haircut. I need to preach and practice, not just preach and not practice. And I've done my best to do that. Yeah, you're all doing a great job. You should expect nothing less of me, and I expect more from myself. Nah, you're doing fine. We expect you to do a better job of pretending you give a shit, but maybe you could fix that by taking some acting lessons. This guy's got a good coach. Look at these fools. Fools. I know they want to be out there. Fools. It's not about you. What about the other people? See how authentic that sounded. CNN anchor Chris Cuomo has been caught again gallivanting around New York without a protective mask. I mean, he was completely full of shit, but at least it's harder to tell. Cuomo was reportedly seen on the weekend in a New York City members club, not wearing a mask and walking around to greet people as if he were the mayor, according to the New York Post. Now here's what you don't want to do. Don't travel this holiday season. Stay home. Cook a turkey for yourself. Eat all of the mashed potatoes by yourself. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, apparently self-induced heart attacks is a defense to COVID now. See? Now you can tell she doesn't believe in what she's saying. Just look at the sadness in her eyes. Ugh. Cook a turkey for yourself. Eat all of the mashed potatoes by yourself. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, she's good at one thing. And this is important when you're trying to convince people to enslave themselves. You want to make it sound fun. Eat all of the mashed potatoes by yourself. That's what I'm going to do. See, talking to someone as if you're convincing a small child to eat their spinach is an excellent exercise. Another good exercise is talking to a room full of adults like you're talking to a kindergarten class. How's everybody doing? It's so good to see you, Texas! <laughs> oh, and don't forget the fake smile. This is essential. Now, if you use all these methods correctly, you could get away with anything. Eat all of the mashed potatoes by yourself. That's what I'm going to do. Don't underestimate the use of art either. If you can't find photos of people enjoying what you're suggesting, then just make it up. See how happy Grandma looks to spend Thanksgiving alone in her final years as she watches her grandson leave leftovers on her steps? An elderly Canadian woman was killed by her doctor because she would rather be dead than go through another COVID lockdown. When it looked like she would have to be confined to her room for two weeks, she asked for, and received, the lethal jab due to declining mental health and vitality. Go ahead, practice at home. Use this photo of elementary school students at recess and practice convincing people that this is good for their psychological development. Or how about this? How about all you hypocrites in government and media actually go f*** yourself?